Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the new technical series that I'm going to start. As you can see the name in my desktop, it is the ServiceNow integrations, right? This is the one of the most trending topic in the market right now, okay? And why it is trending and also like, uh, you know, how I realized that I should start this. I'll share it with you, okay? And trust me, this whole series will help you a lot. If you are already working as a ServiceNow developer, then also it will help you. If you want to become a ServiceNow developer and want to get a job in ServiceNow developer, then also this series will help you and I'll tell you my own personal experience on that. Before I get into it, again, I want to thank my all, uh, you know, almost 10,000 subscribers we are right now. So thank you for all your love and support, guys. When I found out that my videos are helping you, uh, you know, you do such great comments on that. And especially uh, for all the people who has passed their CSA exam, I think for last two to three months, I have seen a lot of people pass their exam by watching the, uh, you know, my ServiceNow system administrator series. Uh, and definitely for the 135 questions that I've uploaded for the members, I'm getting very, very positive response for all the member special videos. Uh, I'm very glad that, uh, you know, my videos are helping you, but I'm not going to stop with 135 guys very soon, very soon. I'm going to upload next parts on the Washington release. That would be the new release, right? Okay. So that is one thing. Second thing is that for the member, I just want to announce that uh, I have seen a lot of messages that Pritam, when I'm going to start the, uh, you know, the CAD exam preparation video, you know, like the same way for CSA. So it is going to come guys in the next month uh, for the members. Okay. Again, the same way I'll put just uh, three videos. Uh, first three part for all of you and then for the next next uh, remaining part would be available for the members okay for CAD examination okay and even in this series as well service now integration series there would be things for the members okay so now uh, again before I go into the PPT and start the thing as I mentioned in my last post you can see that whoever is going to guess the right series you know uh, that I'm going to start uh, I'm gonna shout out the name so I got the two right answers okay out of I think total 15 or 16 comments I got two right answers so I'm, I'm gonna shout out the name so first one is Ajit uh, who has guessed uh, for the first time that is the integration okay uh, so Ajit shout out to you and the next one is I'm sure that I'm uh, you know uh, spelling it correctly so is Vardhan so Vardhan shout out to you as well and he says that uh, hoping it is integrations finger crossed okay so yeah it is integration so i hope you all gonna get a lot of things from this video and you're gonna learn a lot of things you're gonna practice it at the same time in your pdi that i mostly say in my all my video okay so you have to practice in your pdi so that you can uh, get into it understand the concept and you become confident as a service now developer all right so enough of the lecture let's get into the ppt and let's see what are the things we are going to cover service now integrations here we go so what are the things are we going to learn so the very very important thing you know that this is the rest integration that is the hot topic in the market it's trending and that's something we are going to learn service now rest integrations but before going into that let's understand why are we learning it okay so i've given four points here so the first you can see it is very, very important concept based on the current market demand for service now developer. I was telling you that I'll give you an idea practically, uh, you know, why we are learning it. So basically, you know that in last month I couldn't upload a video, right? I told you already I made a community post. I've mentioned that I was busy, uh, you know, uh, in my office as well as my family. Okay. And I was also busy <laughs> for giving several interviews for ServiceNow developer to change my current company and, you know, going further. So there, I know at least to five to six different companies, you know, they have asked me the same question at the beginning that do you have experience on integration? Did you create a REST message? What are the uh, component of REST message? You know, uh, what is the, uh, what are the different HTTP methods are available? So have you ever used the integration hub? Did you create a custom action scripted REST API? So many questions are there for service now integration guys. I can understand with this questions that how different companies are looking for the people who have experience on this service now integration. So that is the reason I thought this is the best time to create a series on the same. Also, I have receiving so many requests for a long time for creating the service now integration series. 
so i'm glad that i'm able to create the video right now okay now you might be thinking pritam okay so as you are giving service now developer interviews then when we can expect some questions for you know interview preparation so guys yes that is also in my mind and i'm going to do that very soon so like i said first let me complete the cad one the cad one is coming in the next month uh, in the august cad exam preparation questions so after that definitely the next target would be uh, for the members that uh, to prepare you or help you to prepare for the service now developer interview okay so that's the one of the reason so you understand by the first point that how important this series is going to be for all of you now if you are already working as a service now developer like me then with this integration knowledge you would be able to explore other projects as well right for integrations and there are a lot of demands right now and also for switching job again like me uh, that would help you a lot so let's get into the next point so it will help you to understand how you can connect service now with other applications so yes and that is the reason this series are going to be very very interesting guys and exciting because we are going to connect service now with external application okay from service now we will send request to the external application and we will receive the response and the vice versa so that means from external application we will send request to service now and we will receive the response okay that's the basic headline of you know uh, this series that i'm doing okay now that's the second point third point is rest is widely used skill so it's like having a skill that won't go out of style so like i said it is very trending in the market and this is not only for service now the integration the rest integration probably you heard about it okay that's not the something it's there only in service now it is there in other platform as well whenever you are trying to connect two applications and trying to send and receive data that's the concept of integration in a very basic level and there are a lot of things lot of components that we are going to learn throughout this series don't worry on that and finally it is there in the cad examination so there is a, a you know section of rest integration there in the cad ex examination syllabus if you watch you would find that so that is the reason it is also important so let's move into the next thing now what are the things will be discovered throughout this series okay first thing what is web service integration we will get the idea of web service integration with example we will understand the concept with two practical example so if you are watching my video for a long time you already know that i try to give example whenever i am explaining any concept because i know with example the concept stays there with your mind and you understand right so again the same thing i am going to apply two practical example will be there to understand web service integration how it is working next what is rest integration after understanding the integration concept web service integration concept we will understand rest integration what is there in the rest so we will understand the concept of rest and next we will understand what are the components of rest using a website so i'll give you this is also a practical example i'm going to give you using a website and i'll explain you different components of rest trust me it is very very easy if you understand it clearly okay and that would be my job to help you you know clear your understanding all right next after understanding the web service integration and the rest thing we will finally enter to the service now world so service now outbound rest message that we will understand what is this concept so we'll understand the concept and then we will understand the component of rest message and we will see different components that are used in service now like endpoint authentication http headers methods and the body very very important and we are not going to stop on that we are also learn about it so i'm going to give you a practical demo that is with the live use case so in the live use case let me tell you i'm going to create a custom application in this studio because already you know that in my service now developer series i have already shown you uh, with 10 different parts that how you can build a custom application from scratch very very important video guys if you miss that go and watch it out that would help you a lot so we are going to use it uh, studio and we'll build a custom application to create rest message connect with external application so we'll connect with some external application uh, variable substitution this will be again i'll show you in the practical query parameters testing and set setting http log how you can set different http log to understand uh, you know if there is a you know a response which is not successful i'll show you all about response and stuff and finally very very important we are going to use a business rule 
to call the rest message so first you can see and the first point we are going to create a rest message and then we are going to use a business rule to call the rest message and how we are going to do that using the rest api so we are going to learn about rest api okay now furthermore very very exciting we are going to create another brand new custom application and it would be advanced one it would be building a weather application in the service now using the rest okay so what are the things we already learned already seen in the practical example uh, with the live use case we are going to implement it again some in some advanced use case okay and again we will invoke rest message by writing script in the business rule using the rest api and this will be available for the members so all the members who are watching if you think i forget about you i don't so this video will be for you this special video this advanced custom application okay so again if you are interested guys uh, that you want to do that you want to learn that you're going to practice that then you can join my channel otherwise there is no force absolutely the choice is yours okay let's move into it after completing the outbound rest we are going to jump into the inbound rest integration okay we will understand the concept again we will explore the rest api so it's called the rest api explorer it is very very important guys i will show you each and every component of rest api explorer like the path parameters query parameters headers http status response body these are all very very important then we are going to use so i'm going to show you do a test inside of the table api inside of the rest api explorer okay and after that we will deal with some security stuff very very important the course rules okay uh, how we can stop web services so how we can stop some external web service to access a particular service now table if they try to access they won't be able to do it how we can do that okay i'll show you and finally finally we are going to request so from external application which is the postman we are going to request data from service now and we will see how that works and for doing that we are going to use two very important authentication method which i will explain about the basic auth that is the basic authentication and the oauth one i'll explain you what is oauth why it is so important and practically i'll show you uh, with the help of postman and service now how you can configure the oauth api endpoint this is very very important guys if you do it practically in pdi you will get more knowledge you will be more confident you will be ready to face the interview and work for work as a confident service now developer who knows about service now integration okay now these two things outbound rest message and inbound uh, integration these two things will give you great idea about service now integrations but that's not the end we are going to learn about some advanced topics as well in this series so two advanced topics we are going to learn first is the scripted rest api very very important second is the integration hub so i was also talking about the integration hub questions that are asked in the interview so this is very very important both of these things in integration hub we are going to create a custom action and in the scripted rest api we are going to create a custom api so you understand why these are the advanced topics and in this particular series service now integrations only we are going to cover up this in detail what are the things we are going to cover i have not uh, made it, made a list because these are very vast thing advanced things so we are going to do it step by step uh, in several videos okay don't worry so this is it for the introduction what are the things we are going to cover aren't you excited to start this series with me so i'm sure you are and you are ready with your pdi again guys just watching video won't help you you have to practice it okay so the next question that will come from you that pritam when we can expect the next video the second video of the series when we will start the exploring the uh, you know integration world so guys you don't need to wait uh two videos every week i'm going to post two videos uh for service now integration okay so i'll try my best putting two videos every week if any single week i miss put two videos there would be one video at least but my target would be posting two videos so in this week today is monday you're going to have another video uh in this week itself okay so wait for that okay and also for scripted rest api and integration hub there would be things for the members again guys there is no force if you want to explore uh, there are other videos as well for members so you can join okay so very very minimal charge i think all of you can pay that also this is a little support for my channel okay i hope you enjoyed the video guys again 
if you like the video hit the like button if you have any question please ask me in the comment section and also like tell me how excited you are and don't forget to share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people see you in my next video of integration bye bye take care